Hello, friend. Hello, friends, and welcome. You are watching episode number four of our Sim Airport Let's Play. My name is Sean, and I'm glad you're here with me today as I play some video games. When we left off, uh, we had uh, run into some problems at our last airport. I'm pretty sure I would have been able to get out of them, actually. I played quite a bit uh, between my last recording and this one, and uh, we were researching um, pricing on our last airport, and uh, we were pretty close to having researched it, and that is uh, the key to making money. Uh, but unfortunately, um, there was a bug from the one of the there have been so many updates uh it's crazy how often they're updating this which is great uh but unfortunately one of them caused all of the conveyor belts to disappear from your saves so i trashed that save I actually deleted all the saves that i had to clear it up because i had a whole bunch of saves in there and uh, started up a new one and then uh, just before starting this recording i looked and they put out another update which uh, would have allowed me to recover that one but um, unfortunately, I'd already deleted it and I'd started up this new airport. Uh, so what I did, you can see we're still in day one here. We're not quite through with that. Uh, first thing I did was I researched finance. And then, um, oh, so I still haven't even hired our CFO. Okay, so uh, of course the very first thing I did was fire everybody. Um, and then uh, I, I did the construction. I put up our ticketing desk and our baggage carousel. We have our... Uh, conveyor belts underground. Um, I, I figured this out because those conveyor belts are so expensive. They're $300 a square. Uh, one thing I noticed is you can put your baggage routing station. It only has to be touching the uh, the road there. So I put it like diagonal there. I got us our first medium hanger, uh, which has a baggage car. We're actually going to add another baggage car that makes the baggage process a little bit faster. I don't know if it helps anything, but but uh, we're going to have it anyways. I put our ticketing kiosks right here by the door so people will run right up and use them. I got our security set up, got all of our queues set up over here. Uh, so I'm feeling pretty good about this. We still have $60,000 in the bank, and uh, it's not uh, the end of day one. So first off, I want to go ahead and hire our CFO. Let's get him in there, and let's start that pricing research. Uh, setting that pricing is going to be huge. Like once you get pricing going, I was making like ten thousand dollars a day, pretty easy. So we're it's going to take us a while to get that. Let's get our schedule set up. Um, did I do the? Uh, no, I need to upgrade this runway, and then we will set up our schedule because we're going to need the ability to have night flights. So let's get that runway set up. They should be able to build that before midnight, and then uh, we will start setting up our. Um, start setting up the uh, uh, flights for tomorrow. Uh, we'll set up the flights for tomorrow regardless uh, because we need to have that done before midnight or else we will have to wait a whole nother day uh, to get flights in and obviously we don't want to do that. I feel like this light setup is really fast. Uh, I have to say it's amazing all of the effort that the developers have been putting into uh, uh, upgrading this game and, and keeping it, uh, uh, listening to all the feedback and trying to fix bugs and stuff. Um, there's a lot of stuff to work on, so you know not everything's going to be perfect. I did run into a few uh, issues that uh, um, uh, when I had two queues, uh, there would almost always be somebody who would get stuck in one of the queues and wouldn't go through, so I'm limiting myself to just one queue and everything. But two gate desks still seems to be working. Uh, so, uh, But let's not worry about that. Let's worry about getting uh, as many flights as we can today. So I'm not going to take any of those little flights. Um, I could take this Embraer 195. I'm not so thrilled about that. I think I might hold off on that. Uh, we have a 707. I really like the 707s. Uh, so that's one night time. Over here, 707 and a 767. We can handle all of those. Night, morning, afternoon. Great. Let's accept all three of them. I do not want that one. That's that nine passenger one. 19 passengers. Forget that. And uh, so 737, 767. I can do both of those. They're both at night. What's our schedule look like here? We can only take in one night plane. So I'm only going to take one of those. And that's going to be the 767, I think. Let's do it. Let's take that one. And that'll be enough for now. Uh, so we'll have to wait until we unlock some additional uh, airlines uh, to, uh, to, uh, uh, to get more flights in. Uh, let's move you to like 10 a.m. Um, and that, will, that way we can save some money. 
not having to bring in um, any, uh, nope, can't adjust those any. All right, so you guys are all kind of jam-packed in there in the evening, uh, but we won't hire any of our day-to-day -day crew until like 7 a.m., and then we'll bring in all the crew that we need to run. Uh, so we'll need like seven crew members and nine security members. Um, but yeah, uh, uh, definitely getting this pricing thing researched before, like at the very start of the game is key. Uh, and uh, it's gonna make a lot of money. Uh, we won't have to worry about um, really anything. I mean, we're gonna be making so much money. So it's exciting, we'll be able to expand and uh, like you know, play the game like we would hope that it would be played. Um, I, uh, I'm, I'm pretty excited about the idea of building the airport up and around here. Maybe expanding this tarmac out here. Uh, also, we started on a large map instead of a small m or medium map or whatever. Um, hopefully, it doesn't cause any problems. And also, it's important to keep in mind, you know, we, we've already had one game save kind of destroyed. So, uh, you know, hopefully, we can get a few days with this one. Um, maybe I should record several episodes back to back. It's hard to know with these things because with the updates, you always want to be playing the updated version. Uh, and I record these, you know, like right now it's, uh, it's about six o'clock at night on, uh, Monday and, uh, or no, Tuesday, is today Tuesday? It's terrible that I can't even remember what day of the week it is. It is Tuesday. Uh, so, you know, it's six o'clock at night on Tuesday and, uh, I'll be putting this up well, I'll be uploading it here in about 45 minutes, but um, you know what I mean. It'll be posted tomorrow morning and uh, Wednesday morning. So <sighs> who cares? That stuff is just, just me filling time, really. Why don't I have it on three speed then if I'm sitting here trying to vamp for a couple of minutes while we wait? Uh, I've got, uh, got my garbage stuff set up. i got lots of nice benches and everything. Yep, we're in good shape. Still have plenty of cash. We're going to burn through a lot of this cash when uh, when I start hiring staff. Uh, when's our first flight? 10 a.m.? Okay, so we have until 7. I mean, we'll know because passengers will start showing up. Uh, still running into the same problems where when you have two gates, it's going to say that we have twice as many people waiting as there are. Uh, and then it's also going to count time twice as fast uh, for the stuff being late. Uh, I don't know whether that really counts as a negative like uh, you know whether the airlines think that you are uh, having your flights leave late or whatever um, but uh, I didn't really seem to run into too many problems with that and then of course with with having a decent profitability you can afford to have them cancel a flight on you every once in a while it's not like at the end of the last game where you know they canceled our flights and 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 it was looking very desperate like if we didn't have pricing research going the game would have been over um, okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then we need nine security. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then I'm going to throw two janitors in there. All right, and uh, there's all of our staff. Let's start getting some of those passengers. Anytime now, passengers. You know, it's a 10 o'clock flight, so wouldn't hurt for you to show up a little earlier. There we go. Hello. Passenger number one. Heading, he's going to check himself in. Him? Yeah, it looks like he's got a mustache there, so. Interesting shirt. Bypass the queue. Just go straight up to the kiosk. Oh, yeah, follow. Cool. How's that bag going to look? Yep. Looks good. Did we make it through security? No, no, uh, no knives, guns, drugs, narcotics. That oh, way, that's drugs, isn't it? We'll throw some garbage away. I'm gonna pretend you did. Come on over here, just chill out, waiting for your flight. Derpa derpa. Yep, there you go. Can I see his uh, moods and stuff? I don't really know what all that stuff means. It must be out of, like, one would be the full thing or something. What is life cycle departure? Um, yep, yeah, don't know. Uh, I, put some, I put some food vending over here, just for fun. 
Like I'd always been clustering it up in the hallway here, but I think maybe putting it over by the gate might not be a bad idea. Things are going pretty smooth over here in security. I don't like that they come straight down here and then head over that way. And I don't know what I can do to avoid that because uh, I'm going to expand security up this way in theory. Um, I guess what I could do to avoid that would be to have the ticketing on this side or something like that. I don't know. Doesn't really matter. Look at all those guys showing up all at once. Didn't need to go too far out on the queue up here. People usually don't have to wait too long. I must have forgot to connect this one. There we go. Now you're assigned. And I don't have any first class or anything like that. It's all it's all one standard any passengers. They seem to be getting through there pretty easily. This flight is at 10, right? Okay. So I really don't want to have people piling up anywhere. 930. Well, it comes in at 10, but it doesn't leave until noon. And most of the passengers seem to be showing up you know, with with enough time to spare. And we've got plenty of security and stuff to get them through quickly. Here comes our first plane in. How much time? We, uh, we're 65% towards the pricing change. So that's good. Kind of would like to get the pricing change done before we uh, bring in uh, additional airlines uh, because uh, some of them won't like uh, when we raise our prices. So I'd rather see what the effect is going to be before I start assigning uh, new planes. Like all of the ones that you can get at the start, they're pretty easy to do uh, because, uh, uh, because you know, they're just not picky. Uh, here we're going to see, uh, you can already see both baggage cars are out there, so that's kind of cool. Uh, you don't have to wait for this one to finish for the other one to start. Not that that really seems to make any difference, like the everything, like it's going to get loaded and then it's just going to sit there for 20 minutes. Um, be nice if they would let us start loading the passengers sooner uh, when the when the plane is fueled up and uh, uh, all the baggage is loaded and everything. But so you can see, they still have the double double numbers for the people waiting and the countdown. Oh, countdown might actually be going at the normal. Uh, well, I don't know. No, it's still going twice as fast as it should. Uh, that's okay, though. We'll get everybody boarded. They'll get out almost on time. It's supposed to leave at 12, right? So it did, did get out just on time. Hmm. A little bit of a... Did I not assign these guys to the queue? I bet you I forgot to assign them to the queue. I did. Whoopsie. That's right. It didn't cause any problems, but I was wondering why they were kind of clustering up there. Looks like I need to expand that queue out a little bit. No problem. There we go. I think they're waiting. Well, I guess the planes just keep coming into this one until like we start getting two at once or something. Still have quite a ways to go on that research. Security's all cleared out. Now see, that kind of irritates me that they go, like they they walk and then they come here and then they go here. Why do they walk down here? What are they doing? What is this guy doing? Yeah, that doesn't make sense. Well, I, hmm. Need to pay more attention. Watch for that on the next uh, batch of customers coming in. How did they end up over here, and then why? And then go back through security again. Are they going over there to get snacks or something? Maybe, but like they shouldn't be able to come over here to get snacks. Yeah. See, like. Okay, you're going to the bathroom. That makes sense. Yeah. Wait. You can't. Hey, where are you going? You can't do that. 
Okay, let's put a garbage can out here. <laughs> Objects. I don't think you understand how security works, my friend. But having a garbage can next to the restroom, that does make sense. We'll put a couple out there just to be safe. You guys are bold. You never been to an airport before? That's better. Alright, not many people... Oh wait, those guys are just kind of late or something showing up in line? I don't know. They're not getting stuck in line, so that's good, because that was that was what the problem I was running into before. Alright. 91%. We're very close. About, about Let's say probably 1,700. I'll have that researched. And then I can load up our um, load up our schedule for tomorrow. Hopefully we don't lose any flights when we raise our prices, but we're gonna have to raise our prices. We can make up for it. We've got we've got some cash to spare, so. Oh, seventeen hundred, great. Alright, research completed. Close you down. Pricing. So I was charging a thousand dollars for runway usage, and forty dollars for uh, uh, passengers, and and that was working out just fine. So we're at forty-eight ninety-three. It's probably going to hurt. Yeah. So we did lose one flight, unfortunately. Hopefully, it wasn't the flight that these guys were all showing up for. Uh, but uh, that's not a problem. We can afford it. So we're going to have to rebuild interest to be able to open up the new airlines. Um, 195. I don't want to take that 90 passenger plane. I don't want to take that one. And I can't, I can't take the 777. All right, so we're limited to four planes right now. Um, and we'll need to uh, have uh, good service for these four planes to, to rebuild our reputation after raising our prices there. But it doesn't matter because we're going to be making a profit with the planes that we're running. Like this one's going to make us four four thousand dollars when he pulls out of the gate. Um, so you know uh, we're, we're taking a little loss right now at the start, and uh, we will definitely make up for it in the long run. Uh, build our reputation back up to to fifty percent, which will open up a bunch of new airlines for us. See, so, yeah, look at that, up to twenty thousand dollars. We'll see. Maybe at midnight, you know, the uh, uh, maybe they'll get upset and they'll cancel out on us again. I, I'm not sure. I didn't really get that far in my uh, the other games that I was playing, um, just because I, I kept uh, like fiddling around to try to find different new things, and then also I, I ran into that uh, ran into that underground belt thing again, even in the game that I was playing offline, which was really frustrating. It's really expensive to expand my airport. I'd like to, like, my next goal is to expand this out a little bit so I can make these queues and make this area a little less crowded, although it's probably not necessary. But, uh, I mean, look at this. We're going to get another $5,000 here. Um, oh, so we must have got paid when this airplane landed. Nope, there we go. Yeah, look at that. $10,000 for... Maybe that's... Ah, shit. See, this is what I ran into last time. Can I... Damn it. I definitely don't want to destroy my... Uh, break deadlock. Maybe if I save it... So this will be, um, uh, we're at uh, episode th uh, episode four, right? All right, let's save it. Uh-huh, great. Exit. Hey, here's my desktop. Um, let's relaunch that. Okay, oh, I was going to show you guys that picture, but I guess not. Yep. So here's the, oh, another, boy, they upgraded it again. They're upgrading it so often. 
Uh, okay, episode four. Did not seem to... Ah, okay, great, that worked. Good. Whew, I was worried that was not going to... Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> oh, shit. There we go. Thanks, you guys. Okay, hopefully that doesn't count negatively against us. Uh, this plane is going to probably get out of here late. See if we can maintain the, what, four flights that we have going on right now. But with our with our reasonable profitability, we could even afford to, we could, we could take on that little, that little 19 passenger plane and uh, um, run that just to help build our, ah, oh, look at that. See, now we're up to 51%. So we, we definitely are going to have a bunch of new planes that we'll be able to run for uh, tomorrow. Um, I guess I don't need to pause it because we're going to have quite a bit of time. Let's let's uh, let's watch this plane get out of here first, and then uh, we will look at filling up our schedule. All right, you gonna you gonna make it out of here, plane? Thank you. Good job. Okay, so right now we have one morning, one afternoon and two evenings, right? All right. One morning, one afternoon, two evenings. So we will take on, I don't want that one. Now, what is this airport interest level thing? What does that mean? Because like if 56 and 58%, if they're like the minimums I need to meet up to, uh, Ah, uh, who knows? I guess we'll find out. All right, uh, f 787, I think that's too big for me, right? 787, 300 passengers. Looks like I can't accept it, yep. Galactic Point, they pay well. Um, Airbus is too big, looks like they're all too big. Uh, Pacific Airlines, nope, no thank you. Starflight. Starflight's got a 707 and a 195. That 195 is a little too small. 707 I'll take, though. That's an afternoon flight. All right. Um, Union Air. Those are both small. No thank you, Union Air. Aerostar. Oh, I guess I shouldn't be so picky, huh? 195 again. Mm, it's only 90 passengers. Atlantic International 767. I will definitely take that one. 250. Beautiful. All right. Let's take a look at our schedule here. So these afternoon flights, we'll stagger them out a little bit. Oh, that's a morning flight. It's even easier to stagger out like that. All right. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So we need one night, one afternoon, two mornings. And uh, don't be so picky about the sizes, I guess. 195, yeah. It's a morning flight. So now we need one of each. Uh, oh, why did we skip that 707? Huh. All right, so now we need an afternoon and a night. No, not that one. That one's too small. Hey, look at that. Okay, we'll take both of these 195s. Let's close those out. And uh, let's uh, look at the schedule. Uh, these are morning. Nope, that's an afternoon. Are you morning? There we go. You're morning. And you are afternoon. I'll put you right there. And you right there. All right, and that's going to... Oh, shit. I almost double scheduled that one. Put you right there. Great. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten flights. We got forty-six thousand dollars. It's going to take a while before we get to the next flight. Uh, but there you go. So um, yeah, I feel really good about this one. We've got a lot of money. We're building a decent reputation. Everything, everything was flowing super smooth through the uh, um, 
uh, through all that. Let's let's go ahead and put in another security station while we are um, in between flights here. That's a good time to do that. ID. This this is also very helpful because I can never seem to find those things. Um, oh, you know what? Let's uh, let's move this queue as well. Shrink queue. Expand queue. There we go. We'll just do it like that for now. Um, I think that'll be long enough. And uh, close that down. No. Uh, okay, so that's being built. Uh, we should have a clock running. We're going to go objects. Back scanner. Metal detector. Very good. All right, so additional stuff up there. Let's even throw in an additional ticket desk. Uh, objects. Ticketing desk. Blocked by underground conveyor, huh? Okay, if you say so. And um, even some additional ticketing kiosks, why not? They don't really cost anything. Um, I wonder if... Uh, I wonder if it would be worthwhile to have snacks out here. Doesn't hurt to find out. And maybe an ATM. Put that right here. Cool. All right. I want to hire the security before we uh, before we end the episode here. Um, staff, security, one, two, three, and I want to hire that gate agent as well. Lest I forget. There we go. Staff. Staff. And um, we will run the conveyors and then we... Now see, I wonder why it wouldn't let me build it there. Even though the conveyor is two squares away. Doesn't matter. Alright guys, that was it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you're subscribed, I thank you for subscribing. If not, maybe subscribe. Um, and uh, if nothing else, leave me a comment. I always want to hear from people. Uh, ah, dang it. Now... What what are these guys doing? Weird. That is really weird when they do that. Um, maybe they're going over there for bags or something. I don't know. Anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you'll come back for the next episode. It will be up tomorrow. I'll see you then. Bye.